Alright guys, welcome back to another video from Who's Who. Um, today we'll be looking at Squiddle. We're trying to get him sold in the, by the end of the month. So today we'll be showcasing him. Um, I'm currently at one of my friend's past, so you can see his animals. They are well conditioned. He raises them, you know, um, back fed along with some cane. So let's take a look at them. coming right now you know mm, this man they're all brahman bros they'll be up for sale next year may you know all right um so guys this is shellan the caretaker for the for this farm um so shellan can you tell me how long have you been taking care of cows Eight years now. Getting, getting, yeah. 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 Um, could you tell, um, so people always say your cow is a, is a older generation thing. Can you tell them your age and tell them what it takes to have, you know, this many animals? The first beginning, it takes a lot. Yeah, it's a lot from generation time, from the grandparents. Okay. Yeah, so for grandparents, to up. So, yeah. Alright. And what's the most cows you've had at one time? The first coming got a, my first half at 28. Mm. Yeah. And could you tell the type of cows that you've raised? Uh, I raised both of them Indian, Brahman, and Kaman. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Um. Could you tell me, um, how do you know when a cow is pregnant? Um, you see the vein inside, of in belly side. You saw it. Oh, and how do you know when a cow wants to get pregnant? Um, it swell up and around slime, all about things. Mm. Mm. How, how do you know, um, the, the, a service bull, when a, when a bull is, how do you know a proper service bull? I saw this bull still. Um, it built by joint in joint. Oh. So you have a short joint, long joint. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you know, so that is a good, yeah. Mm. Some car pencil card and some car job card. Oh. So that bull in the back around there, could you tell me if he's a proper service bull or not? No, he's not too good, he's too short. Oh. He's a common. Okay. Common mean by. Mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, people always asking me um, for if I have any cows or any bulls selling. Um, I always tell them that you're the man to get in contact with. Um, if they need anything, um, so is it okay for us to leave your number? Anytime, any place. Yeah. So, guys, if you need a, a bull or a heifer, you know, Shellan is the man to call. You know, so um, this is a what Shellan. This this is an Indian, right? Yeah. All right. So Sh Shellan was just pointing out to me that this cow um, is um, is ready to meet. You know, so Shellan, could you tell me um, how did you identify that? I, so I identified um, Intel is kind of eyes and it starts swelling and I was sliming. Yes. Now, if you look at the back where it's look right there, you see that it's swollen and its tail is heist a little bit. 
so that's how you know when you know they're ready to mate. So this is a perfect example, right, Shalan? Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so there's nothing much to see. You know, today, today we just came to do a little um, short video. And the next time I am here, I will, you know, I will bring Sheldon. I will, you know, bring bring you guys to Sheldon's farm because he shows the, the various types of animals that he's currently set. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so... <coughs> Sheldon says he has two bulls. I want to look at them. <coughs> bush, bush, bush people. So we are actually bush. Oh, Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Guys, when you want your, your animal look nice, you know, you have to carry them all parts. You know, get the proper grass, proper feed, and everything. You know, so sometimes my animals come this side. You know, because he was just telling me that when I was not here, you know, he had them around here. So, actually, watch out for courage, you know. Courage on your blood fire. Mm hmm. This is my first time coming down here. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've seen. Yeah. I have seen, um, <clears throat> you know, I've seen it from up the other side because I used to catch water up the other side. But. Um, you're looking, you're to, you're to the road is up there. But children, I last time, I saw a brother did have the, the black pole. Yeah. Black pole? Yeah. You sell him? The long time? Mm. We have a lot of memories, don't we? Actually, watch your step in the cars. If you're sleeping, I'm going to save you. Alright, children. Sure, eh? Go across a little stream, you know. Good thing, me never carry my shoes, me carry me flip flops. Yes, I didn't get water from Woo! The water feels nice on my foot. Be a crispy supposed to know them out there. that mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. all right oh, straight red pool the guy goes St. Elizabeth come from St. Dan oh. um that's uh, half of the highway there sir no, you know the border center and three are. Right, right, exactly the border. Mm -hmm. Before you start climbing, you see one farm the right hand. I think we know where you're talking about, yes. And it, it's like a little hut like yeah, thing. Man. Yeah, man, we know which part. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice yeah, service boy. Yeah. How old him is? Yeah. Okay. How, how old him is? I think 
Five one year and five months. Yeah, you see what they're using? They're using one wire to bar off the thing. <laughs> one wire. Yeah, this is another service, boy. I'm not getting too close over there, boy. Oh, hold that one, Abby. One year? Yeah, this one is one year and seven months. You know? Yeah, you can see, look at the era. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Push him over, over one. One precipice? Yeah. All right. So, so are these service bulls? Um, no. We just grow them for meat purpose. Mm. But if a man come, I want to. Uh, yeah, I want to. Uh, you know, you can get it. But service bull. All right. So, um, you said this one is one year old? Yeah, one, one year old and about five months. One year and five months. How, how did you start with the food farming thing? Well, basically, I grew up around my father, so you know, my father always have cattle, so that's how I get the love for it. Mm. So, how many cows in total you have? I'm about, about 15. Huh? Any efforts in there? Yeah, man. Alright, so if, if somebody wanted to reach you. Would it be okay for us to leave your number in the description? Yeah, man. So, all right. Go ahead. 3995091. All right. And your name as well? Marlon. All right. So, guys, Marlon, he has um, a wide array of bulls. So, if, you, if you're if you interested, you know, just call him, reach out to him. You know, he has, this is just one of his, his farms. He has one in Centon as well. So, just reach out to him and... He will definitely get back to you. you know. Guys, my phone fell a while ago. But it's okay. We're walking. You know? We're walking. Oh, I'm tired. We're walking back for the van. But as I was saying, guys, um, he'll, they left their information. I'm going to leave their information in the description box. So feel free to reach out to them. You know, this is going to be the end of the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for alerts. And when I drop my videos, guys, again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And... This would not be possible without you guys. Thank you so much again. Peace.